got him down. And you know what is also a really cool thing? I hit my fucking mute button. So, yeah. That's awesome. Remind me to readjust my fucking pop filter. There. Now it shouldn't touch it, but whatever. You said dog. And then a few seconds later? Okay. You did not go quiet for that long. Well, thank you for telling me that I'm a fucking chatty Cathy. I appreciate that. I mean, granted, that's kind of just what happens when you do commentary. You just kind of ramble. Oh, yeah, speaking of rambling, I wonder what this guy has. But, yeah, so uh, as of right now, the game is kind of in this so-so area. Because unlike Dying Light, where I like the people of the tower, it was nice. Like, I felt like, okay, I'm helping them out. There's an asshole over there that I'm trying to fight. Right now, it's just like I'm literally fighting with against like there's two factions, neither of them I like or have a reason to like. There's Hakan, and then you know I'm literally just doing the brother version of the take. That's it, in a way. Uncle Snow and Activate that. Feast fixings collected during the night, I guess. Hello. Hello, do you do, bitch? Oh, I need a rank two. Nice. But yeah. You kind of get an understanding of like what I mean when it comes to that. Where it just like, it just does not have as much of like a story beat that I enjoy. That being said, I do like the fact that there is parkour in this. It is a little bit iffy, but again, I think it's just because I have been used to how the parkour in Dying Light was so fluid. But again, you, you get to that point very fucking quickly. Like they literally hand you, here's parkour. And here's every other ability, like, halfway through. I don't even know how far I am even in this. Anyway. This is of madness, Sophie. The peacekeepers have more weapons. Men. They will crush us like worms. Ator may have more men, but we have the home field advantage. Home field advantage? You're crazy. I forbid it. While I lead the bazaar, no one will attack the peacekeepers. You no longer lead the bazaar. What? You're no leader, Carl. Never were. We lost people because of you. Crystals. You almost got yourself killed. My mother wanted a free bazaar, not slaves serving the peacekeepers. I want to restore peace here. You can help me with this, or leave. Roger, Humphrey, arrest them. What are you doing? They want to betray the bazaar. Roger! You have no power anymore, Carl. You want to be like your mother? You'll have blood on your hands, Sophie. A lot of blood. Carl is right. We don't stand a chance in open battle. Sophie! What the- Therefore, we're gonna weaken them first. What do you mean? We'll cut off their main source of electricity. Without UV lamps, Ador can't defend his base. They will be driven from the metro tunnels and cut off from the armory. How does all this get me to the central loop? Once Ader is weakened, he will retreat for reinforcements. Then you can make it to the central loop, Aiden. But first, we have to blow up the windmill. And fast, before Ader gets wind of what we're planning. Barney, gather our people. Be ready. Roger and Humphrey, go to the armory, provide weapons to anyone capable of fighting. And you, Aiden, go to Alberto and Vincenzo. They'll walk you through the plan. Okay. Community and freedom, Aiden. Together, we will win. Man, I just now want to just get both of them arrested. Everyone left to die, and then I just do what I need to do. Ugh.
I really don't like where this is going. Did I ever play through the first game? Yeah, like seven or eight years ago. Like, it was like a very long time ago. But I remember it being really fucking fun. And it was one of my favorite over open world zombie games. I mean, granted, that's there's really not many that fit that. But it was one of my more fa one of my favorite open world games. There's very few of them that I would say kind of go above that. But like, you know, when it comes down to it, I just, <sighs> I just don't like this, dude. I don't. I this like, the story beats in this are weird. I'm not. I'm not vibing with it, so to speak. You know what I mean? But yeah, if you actually are curious, I have done a playthrough of the first game. Uh, and it's on my channel, too. So, if you ever are curious about looking at, at that. I did that as well as the following, also. Which was kind of huh? fun. Hope you're not another um, f um, uh, Philistine. <clears throat> Ooh. Are you, you or not? You keen eye, my boy. I mean, I might as well buy that. What the choice? You know, I just realized I could buy like every single Shoot. like. Weapon mod and ammo type. Great quality. <laughs> Just because of the amount of like shit that I have. Bold choice, son. We're just gonna burn through like a bunch of my materials because I can. My boy. There we go. That should essentially be everything. Oh, can I repair this? Oh, okay. So it allows me to repair it. That's not bad. I mean, granted, these are the weapons that I'll repair later on. Nice haul, eh, son? Oh, yeah, you know what? One thing I should do. I need a... Actually, you that... No, you... Yeah, you that... And you that. You that. Just so, again, we can kind of get rid of this shit. And because of the fact that the game just loves to give me a way too much, like, stuff... I can easily just, you know, dismantle the rest of the stuff. Like, I have way too much money already. Anyway, let's actually continue what I think is just the worst idea possible. Hey, Alberto. This new armor of yours is flimsy. More fit for a beetle than people. Yeah, way too thin. Fierstein. Peter shows a great protection. This is top craftsmanship, made from the finest quality materials. Built from... Uh-oh, uh I can almost see the steam pouring from his ears. Look out, he's gonna blow. <laughs> titanium. We reinforce the armor with titanium we pulled from the scrapyard. That's why they're lighter and better protection. You guys shouldn't be such dicks. Well, why didn't he just say so? We'll see. Yeah. Thanks, Vincenzo. You didn't have to. It was nothing, Dad. Nah. As for you, those two oafs took the last titanium vests. No, I'm not here for armor. Sophie sent me. You're supposed to bring me in on some plan? The plan? My plan? Carl agreed? Carl agreed! You hear that, Vincenzo? Not Carl. Sophie. You gonna share or do I have to guess? Windmill. We take down the windmill. Bingo! The <sighs> big windmill that provides power to the PK headquarters. 
But first, we need the charges that Jack and Joe left at the water tower. Hmm? Would you bring them to us, Pilgrim? Uh, after we blow it up, all the UV lamps in the PK headquarters will go out. That'll allow the infected to attack them. Hmm? Old Villador will be free again. And you, you have a clear route to, uh, uh, you know, uh, the past chemical fallout and to, uh, uh, what's it called? The central loop. The central loop, right. How do you know the PK will withdraw and not retaliate? Because Dad designed this windmill. He knows it like the back of his hand. And it's the PK base's only power source. Without it, the PKs won't last another night in Old Villador. But we must act fast before the peacekeepers catch wind of our plans. So, you win? Uh, is, like, honest, yeah, like, is this the only way? Okay, so the windmill powers all the PK's UV lamps? Yes, it does indeed. A lot of people will die. Only if the PK don't turn tail and head back to where they belong. They stole that windmill from us. It was ours. Lucas and his men, they... When they came, they... Ah! Ah! Damn it! Took, took it. it. Exactly. They took it. Without electricity, Aethor can't keep anyone here. We have generators, smaller power sources. They need a large power source. They'll have to withdraw. And before they return with backup from the central loop, we'll block the tunnel ourselves. Their commander, Jack Matt, is not going to risk fighting in the dark with the infected and renegades at his back. Old Villador will be ours again, and you will go to the center. Okay. All right, fine. I'll do it. Okay. Go to the water tower. We're going to use the charges that Jack and Joe tried to blow it up with. Let me know once you get there. Uh. We'll finally put our plan into action. I fucking hate this. Go to the water. Is there a way to, like, not do this? Like, honestly, I hate this idea. Like, this is just such a bad idea. Or I've just, like, signed my fate to this bullshit. Oh, I hate this so much. Got called away. Did I answer that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did play it. I even have a Let's Play of it on the channel, too. So if you ever are curious about, like, seeing that, you can. Nope. You're gonna go ahead and lurk. All right. No problem. Truck on the truck on the truck. All right. Oh, come on. You had to open that at the worst time. Lamp, 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 lamp. What's 
going on here? PKs. They've been searching us for weapons. Found our Molotovs and went ape shit, slaughtering everyone in sight. Looks like someone set us up. Who? And where are the bombs for Alberto? We managed to send some out. <sighs> the couriers last reported near Star Square. Then silence. Alberto, the charges are gone. I'm going to the Star Square. That was their last check-in. Oh. Oh, my. Exactly. Ada. Yeah. Be careful. Someone sold us out. Find the, the, the charges. Without them. Anyone? <laughs> The PKs ambushed your transport? They searched everyone and everything. Eventually they found the bomb. Someone tipped them off. And they took everything? Dunno. Suddenly something scared them off. And what? Where are the charges? Hey! Um, they were in the yard. Come on, maybe they didn't steal all of them. Lucky few of the infected showed up. Everyone scattered, probably leaving the bombs behind. Don't know why they didn't steal them. They were right under their noses. Morons. <laughs> Oh, that could be good. Oh, fantastic. Open up faster, jackass. Take damage or something. <sighs> Fucking dickhead. Right. Not using my strong ass weapons, forgot about that. Mean, come on, open up. 
Oh, lovely. I'm glad. Come on. That was not what's supposed to happen. Oh, shit. Come on, do your slam. I like to say it's low when I have. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay. 